In this video, I'm going to be updating the firmware on the Canon P4i from firmware 1.0.0 to 1.04. So I went ahead on the Canon's website, had to do some digging around in the uh, support uh, sections of the website to find the uh, uh, firmware for the, uh, for the camera and went ahead and downloaded it. So now what I'm going to do is uh, insert the camera in Canon's uh, uh, card into the uh, card reader slot on the uh, computer here. And I'm going to take the Canon firmware and I will be uh, installing it onto the uh, SD card. So uh, in case you're not familiar with uh, how to update firmware on your Canon camera, you can go ahead and uh, check out the uh, PDFs here. And uh, this is for the... Uh, the Canon T4i, also known as the 650D, and then we'll tell you step-by-step uh, step how to uh, to update the firmware and uh, get it on your card and, uh, and insert it into the camera and go through the menu systems and uh, successfully uh, installing the uh, firmware. So we're just going through a, an overview here. Uh, you can go ahead and download this stuff yourself and read it over. So I'm just gonna, gonna quickly scroll through this. So you wanna make sure that you uh, follow the directions so you don't brick the camera because it could be difficult to, uh, to get yourself out of the jam if you do brick the camera if something doesn't go right. So you wanna make sure that you uh, do a uh, good uh, erasure with the uh, low level format on your uh, card before you uh, place the firmware in. So now that I transferred the uh, new firmware to the uh, card reader here, I will go ahead and pull this out, insert it into the T4i, then we'll go ahead and power up the camera. And we'll look for the uh, firmware. So we'll scroll down to the uh, firmware. And then we'll go ahead and update camera firmware as needed. So we'll go ahead with the uh, camera. It says current firmware is 1.0.1, .1, update firmware. We will press OK. Now it's loading the uh, firmware. And it says, please select new firmware version. Current version is 1.0.01, uh, .01, so we'll update this. Uh, the uh, new firmware is CCF13104, so that's the 1004 firmware. So we go ahead and push the set. Okay, update firmware to 1.0.1 .1 .1 to 1.0.4. Absolutely. Do not turn off and don't touch any buttons. Because if you do, you'll brick it. That's one thing about these uh, cameras that probably a lot of people don't realize is that, you know, there's, uh, there's uh, firmware updates on these things. Uh, they don't come out very often. You know, like this is, you know, when this camera was first delivered, it was, you know, you know 101, and, you know, it's only current uh, firmware is uh, 104. And uh, same goes for this one that's recording. That's a 104. And there's, uh, there's another one here that's 104 too. So uh, they don't update the firmware very often because they don't have to. It's pretty much, you know, they pretty much got their uh, software and, uh, you know, to run the camera is pretty much down packed. So it's pretty reliable where they don't have to uh, constantly update firmwares all the time. So that's, that's a good thing to know, you know, just to let people know that, you know, they're, 
sometimes there are firmware uh, updates uh, so check out the you know your uh, camera's website you know is something like this which is you know outdated and it's no longer listed in the uh, you know the uh, top dog uh, listing of cameras but you scroll around to the bottom of the pages where you go to support and uh, you know find your way into the uh, software or firmware uh, sections or the help sections and you know it's eventually you'll find your way to, to the uh, firmwares because you know they'll keep the uh, support for the uh, firmwares and software and uh, manuals and stuff like that on their website for quite a long time so we're about uh, almost 60 percent done with the uh, current firmware and then we'll uh, we'll go ahead and play with the magic lantern so we'll load that up too and then uh, we'll uh, play with it you know see what's see what's available what you know, the biggest uh, reason that I wanted this particular camera and Magic Lantern is for the uh, extended recording time. So it doesn't just keep the camera running and recording. What it does is that it automatically restarts the recording for the new file because that's what happens is that the file block gets full. Once it's full, it stops recording, and then you got to manually go back to the camera and hit the record button again. So the software does it automatically. So uh, you only lose like a, a second or two of you know if you were doing something and and you you hit that recording start stop block, and you just uh, lose a couple of seconds. But most people would never notice, and that's just the way it is, you know. So we're almost done here. We're about 96%. It says, now update is complete from 101 to 104. Excellent. So now when you're done, it goes back to your shooting screen. So now that that is done and updated we can go ahead and load magic lantern onto the uh, to the uh, card here and open up the full potential of taking a uh, your basic uh, entry level uh, camera you know depending on what model is supported on magic lantern uh, website and uh, opening up the camera to being uh, you know 99% professional camera so uh, stay tuned for that we'll be right back with that kind of information so now we're ready to uh, start playing around with uh, magic lantern and there's uh, a pretty good place on the forum here if you can find this guy's uh, uh, if you go to the uh, firmware and the uh, forums here you can find the, these guys this particular guy's uh, site and his uh, firmware update magic lantern firmware update and you can download it from here and this is the latest and greatest uh, magic lantern firmware that is uh, currently available and uh, go ahead and download that link and then you can uh, find your uh, your file in your uh, downloads folder and you can put it on the uh, des desktop and then uh, go ahead and unzip it and then you can uh, trash the uh, zip file. So now the next thing you want to do is uh, open up the uh, Magic Lantern folder there and copy all three files and drag it into your, uh, your camera's uh, SD card. And then you can go ahead and uh, make sure that it's there. And uh, for me, since I have uh, uh, running uh, Monterey, I have to go on an older system to install Magic Lantern onto the uh, SD card of the camera. So there's a little uh, hiccup there. So, so now we'll go ahead and might need to install uh, Magic an older Lantern system into the camera. To install so we'll the take card. the card and insert it into the camera. We will power it up. 
And we will go back to our menu system or for the firmware version. We will select that, we will select the camera, and then click OK to update the firmware. And it will go ahead and load the Magic Lantern firmware. And it says it looks like it, it was a success. Please restart your camera. So we'll go ahead and turn it off. We will wait a couple of seconds. Now we'll turn it back on, and it should be running Magic Lantern firmware. And you can tell that it is running Magic Lantern firmware because you'll have a lot of uh, fine print from here and here at the top of the screen and over here on the uh, other corner. So we'll go ahead and access the menu. So usually you access the menu by hitting the uh, trash can. And it says, Magic Lantern, this is a development snapshot for testing purposes. Please report all bugs to www.magiclantern.fm. Be careful using it for production work. Enjoy. Press any camera button to enter Magic Lantern settings. So this Magic Lantern version is nightly build 2018, July the 3rd. 650D104. And then it's got a bunch of other gibberish. And it was built on 2018, 7th month of the third day. So now we can go ahead. And now you can tell that you got a totally different uh, format on the uh, menu systems. So now we got uh, we got uh, custom uh, white balance. We got ISO, shutter speed, aperture, picture style, export presets, and it's just like the Canon uh, menu system. So you can just uh, scroll across. So we got a uh, menu, the global draw. We have zebras. We have focus peak. Magic Zoom. What Magic Zoom is, is uh, it gives you kind of like a picture in picture of the overall picture. And then if you decide to, uh, you know, like use a focus point, it'll focus in on a little window to make sure that you are still focused because sometimes you can get fooled by the uh, focus. It could be, it looks like it's focused on this little screen, but it's really not. And then we got the crop marks and ghost image, spot meter, false color, histograms. That's really into the, you know, the serious uh, videographers. They get into the histograms. We got the waveform, vector scope, and then you got the bit rate, and then the recording key, gradual exposure, FPS override, HDR video, and uh, image fine tuning, movie crop mode, movie tweaks, and then you got advanced brackets, inter value meter, LCD sensor remote, bulb timer, audio remote shot, motion detect, mirror lockup, flash tweaks, shoot preferences, and then you got follow focus, focus endpoints, rack focus, focus stacking, focus settings, DOF settings, focus patterns, and you got LV digi peaking, LV brightness, LV contrast, LV saturation, uh, LV display gain, clear overlays, de fishing, uh, advanced settings, and then you got the configure fire files, image reviews, live views, zoom tweaks, focus box settings, arrow set shortcuts, miscellaneous keys, warning for bad settings, power save, and live mode. Live mode, uh, live, uh, live view display presets, lens info press, custom, customized menus, and then you got a bunch of other little stuff in here. 
uh, your uh, .mo's, there's a whole list of them. And then uh, modules, debugs, lens info, screenshot, uh, seconds, uh, dump ROM and RAM, dump image buffers. Don't click me, and that means don't click it. Don't touch that. View, uh, show tests, show CPU usage, show GUI events, uh, free memory, image buffers, and then you got your press info, press Q, and it tells you, you know, everything that you, you uh, are selecting. And then on, usually on the bottom of the screen, it, it tells you uh, what it means and all that other good stuff. And then at any time, you can go right back to the Canyon Canon uh, menus. Uh, so, uh, just by hitting the uh, uh, your standard uh, menu button to access the uh, Magic Lantern, you hit the push the uh, garbage can key. So, like I said, Magic Lantern does not replace the operating system and the firmware in the camera. It rides on top, so it runs on top of that system. So there's a bunch of stuff in here. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, most people are not going to use and stuff like that. And there's stuff that people are really going to get into and they really they really screw with these things. So uh, that's that for uh, putting a Magic Lantern onto, a, you know, a camera that is supported by it. So, uh, you know, maybe I'll, in, in the future, I will uh, hook this up to the uh, monitor and uh, and then put the camera on it, and we'll go through all the uh, menus and, and play with this thing. And because uh, there's a lot here now, because now it's an open camera, so it's like a and now it's like a pro camera that you know for entry level, mid level camera. And now it's, it's opened it up, opened features of the camera up very much. So uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Bye bye.